Welcome back to another video. Today we are finishing up Cradle of Ruin. I don't know if there's another route after this, but we did McCurry's route in which we spared her. Now we're gonna go follow her mom. After that on the title screen there is something that says password, so we're gonna enter the password, which I think I can figure out what it is. Soon as dead? I'm not certain about that, but she probably. Is that so? Angelica's gone, soon as gone, everyone's gone. And you made us eat. Angelica. Pretty messed up, not gonna lie. I'm sure you had your reasons, but uh, I'm not a cannibal. Hey guys. Mother, is that true? Sorry, I didn't mean it. I just didn't want you guys to panic. Not only this, but there's one more thing you're hiding from us. Yes. The curry. Not good, not good. You must know that Sin always wanted to play in that place. Did he put a key to where she could reach it? I don't have a re such a reason to do such terrible things. Don't lie anymore. I don't. I don't know what you're thinking. Let's let's work together. Let's forget about them. Whatever you did, I'm not gonna blame you. Everyone has to fight for their own life, so let's leave and go to Tokyo together. Don't. Why? There's nothing left here. We could only wait for death if we stayed. Even if we leave, there's nothing left. It's all cold. I've seen it. I know it. We must stay here and live. Yep, we could only survive like this. There's no other way. We have equipment and it's a nice place. If you don't want to live, you can leave. There is no paradise. It's just a prison. Kill each other and eat each other. No, give me the key. What do you want to do? I'm gonna leave. <clears throat> I've already said it many times, you're not leaving. The pistol taken out by my mother was bounced off and then rolled in front of me. You little. Why do I have to fight against you? Those are my words. Why don't you want to let me go? I don't have to answer you. I always feel that you were trouble. Sniffing around. We could have lived happily together. I wish you'd understand that. That's only your fantasy, cyborg mother. Hodor, use that. Mother showed me the pistol. Kill this guy. You... Life is about making choices. Have you ever heard about that? Suna's really happy to play with Hodoro. And I'm happy to live with everyone here. It is a wonderful it's really wonderful to be born into this world. No matter what happens, mother will always be on your side. Stay here and live happily with everyone. Hmm. Tragically, we would know what happens if we don't do that, so. Gun time. The pistol that mother carries is black and heavy. What a crude shape. I am ready and raise the pistol. Sorry, McCurry. I 
Hooder of you. Fine, never mind. You can just go along the way that you believe in. No one's gonna blame you. Goodbye, Makuri. We will live here. Till the day that everything comes to an end. Being happy forever. Hotoru? Are you hungry? What's wrong? I have something to tell you. Listen to me. My eyes can't see anymore. I'm about to die very soon. Don't be a child at this time. Listen to me, if I die, you're gonna need to become a cannibal to survive. I can't do that. That's gross. I'm sorry, Hotoru. Even till my last moment, I am such a selfish mother. There are only two of us left in this world, me and mother. Mother almost left me all the food. At last, she wants me to live. Then several days later, mother's body becomes cold in the morning. Not a good time. Not a good time. What did I do wrong? Maybe the future is predictable is an end that I don't want to admit. You can't be picky about foods. You have to eat everything, Hotaru. I seem to hear Mother's voice. Bad end. The Last Supper. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat anything else, especially if I, uh, had to eat someone. Clear password 3D. All right. Now, if my predictions are correct, the password is Cradle. There isn't the additional story. Do you want to enter the passcode? Hmm. Let me double check my notes. Maybe it's cradle backwards. Or maybe there's just a capitalization problem. I really don't know. These kind of things can be really confusing. dark <clears throat> all right the young boy stands in the white world nothing exists in the pure white world except the heavy snow he can hardly see anything around him his side is blocked by the snow thick snow all around the year remains on the ground impeding his steps moving forward he isn't moved by the world outside, although this is the first time he's seen it. On the contrary, he feels despaired because of the severe cold he feels for the first time. Friends, mother, all of his family is dead. Leaving him alone in the world, his heart is nearly consumed.
Is here heaven? This must take place after the ending where you shoot Maggie. Or... Tokyo? I think he's dead. Must have been a nuclear winter or something. And that's why you follow the Lord, because you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> At least the music's nice. You gotta feel bad for Hotoro, having to deal with all these uh, issues. Mother, dot dot dot, Rue, Hotaru. Can you hear me, Hotaru? You're going to start over again in this world and open the safe box in Mother's room. If it is you, you must find the truth. Don't forget you have promised me. Do you want to keep the conditions and start over? Okay. Maybe there is a way. Because that seemed kind of depressing, not gonna lie. With him, uh, I don't know, dying in the snow. Good morning, cyborg mother. I think that was our actual mother, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Time to wake up and one day, okay? Dawn of the first day. The huge save box. Do you still remember the promises with Mother? I sure do. The safe box is open. There's a key in it. Shower room. You get the key of the shower room. Hmm. Use the key of the shower room. The bathtub has cold water in it. Your face is reflected in the mirror with a weak and sad expression. The washing machine. Does mother use this to wash everyone's clothes? In the closet, the bath towels are neatly folded. The door of truth. You might never come back again if you go in. Are you ready? I'm the universe save bunny. Yes, I'd love to save universal save bunny. You are, indeed, a little bunny. Huge crystal. I like huge crystals. They're pretty. Hey, Mom. You're amazing. You did keep the promise. Welcome back, Hotaru. I've always been waiting for you. You don't want to go anywhere else, but if you want to, I won't stop you. You can do whatever you want. I'll just watch and stay by your side. Huge crystal. You have the right to know. What do you want to ask? Who are you? I'm your mother. I've been watching you. I've seen it all about every choice you've made in the world. It's okay. Don't be afraid. I'm on your side. Where is here? Here is where the blue star flowers blossom. It's a place where you can face your own heart. You've always 
Had horrible memories, haven't you? There's nothing to be afraid of as long as you are here. Calm yourself down. Take your time at your pace. These colorful crystals are the substantialization of one's heart. It is called the ice block of the soul here. Happiness, sadness, fear, anger, they're different emotions in the ice blocks of the soul. If you look carefully, you can see someone's heart. I don't want to kill anyone. You're always dreaming about the future that no one dies. I don't think it's a bad thing, but think about it. Is that really correct? What does it mean to destroy this fact? Even if that's not the right answer, and you still want the happy ending, then keep making the right choices and that dream might come true. It's okay. That's why you came back here, right? It'll go on well. What do you want to ask? Choices. Wotaro, you must have heard about this. Life is all about making choices. We have to live to make choices. Those choices interact with each other and become the future. And those choices cannot be remade. You know enough about that, don't you? Only one single choice could destroy or break the future. When you really understand the meaning of it, will you feel despair? Will you be positive about it? It is the ice block of the soul. Do you want to peek inside? This is probably Suna. Where has Suna's mother been? Who can tell me that? The girl with blonde hair is still little, whose name is Suna. To her, even the fact of being locked inside this facility doesn't matter at all. What she wants most is happy, exciting things and delicious food. She has a flawless heart that is frank, innocent and pure, anyone can tell that. I have to get up early tomorrow, it's time for bed. Who's that? Why is there a flower in her bathroom? That's weird. Suna, what's wrong? Maggie? I see, you can't sleep again, right? So you came to me, yeah. I have one thing to ask. What's that? Do I have a mother? You were Hodo's mother, right? Then who's my mom? Where is my mom? Did she go somewhere? Uh, that is... Your mother's traveling outside. And she said that when you become a grown-up, she'd come back. You can't remember it clearly because you were very little. I have no idea. No matter her face or voice, I can't remember anything. Then before my mother comes back, I'll be a good girl. Sure, your mother must be happy as well. Remember... It's not alright to lie, like what Meggy is doing. That's great. I also want to go outside. You can't do that. It's too dangerous. How come, but I, I might be able to meet my mom? No is no. You might also die. Is that okay too? If you die, you can never see your mother again. Will I die? Is mother okay? I'll wait for her. And wait. It's unfair that only Hodoro can be with his mother. Don't you like this home? Can I replace for your mother? Thank you, Maggie. I love you the most. It's really happy to live here with everyone. I like it a lot. However, it's not working like that because Maggie is Hodor's mom. So it's not okay. Suna. Sorry. Hmm. She makes a step by herself, tired of the boring days looking for something new. Finding something to satisfy her curiosity. Then, just like a nesting that knows nothing, like a blue migratory bird carrying happiness with a pure heart, she waits for her mother to come back. The dream of being able to fly someday in the wide blue sky. There's nothing wrong with having some innocence. What is my dream? I've been looking for it, but I found it. I'm going to try my best to become a grown-up like Maggie. Then I'll surprise my mother when she comes back. Oh.
All right, this is McCurry. More than likely. What paradise? That's hilarious. How on earth will a place like this become a paradise? Her name is McCurry and she has cold eyes. Her mother died when she was young and was raised by her father. Her mind or body were trained simply to survive in the world. Every day was prepared for the destruction that would come sooner. Before Hokkaido was covered by that eternal snow, she was taken by a shelter and started to live together with the girls who she met there. There were young kids like Suna and Hodoro. They had a tough life every day. What a strange dream. I can't remember my father's face clearly. Neither do I know if he's still alive. I won't just wait for destruction. I must survive. McCurry. What, Maggie? I have something to say to you. I'm busy. Can you wait? What are you investigating? Please don't sneak and do this kind of thing. What are you talking about? What's your purpose? I don't have any purpose. Isn't that your misconception? Don't say things that'll mislead others. I see. I'll let it go then. Leave me alone and just let me go. Do you still remember it? To build a paradise, I thought we agreed on this th that day. Why don't you try to be close to everyone so that we can live together? If I have your help, you sh we could all work together and have a paradise. Yada, yada, yada. I totally messed that up. Why don't you understand? Don't be so loud. I do feel sorry to leave you everything. I'm sorry. Whatever. Why are you so obsessed with here, Maggie? To leave this facility and go outside. I think that'd be better. The eternal snow fell on Hokkaido and the world is covered by snow. It was because we couldn't live on the surface. Nobody's confirmed what's gone on outside, have they? Just talk with her. Even if I tried to talk, Maggie's difficult to deal with. She doesn't listen at all. Everyone must be afraid of leaving this place. Maggie knows it exactly, so she wants to stay here, maybe. Instead of making Hodorin soon to go through a rough journey, she might have found it to better stay in this fake happiness and wait for the end here. So in order of not letting anyone go outside, she brainwashed us with the word paradise. She's afraid that we, we're, you know, we will cause a change and keep Hodoro and Suna from coming up with new ideas. What a mess. Face reality and go outside or live here happily till the moment we die. What's the correct answer? It's up to Hodoro. Every day is too peaceful. We don't even notice what's been forgotten. An idea struck her and she shivered. The interest in the outside world is rotting. Her brain is being washed by this daily routine. Is it really all right to stay here? Life is never endless. Should we leave this place right now and make more meaningful actions? She took an action to face reality and to control the future. I will leave this facility, get out and find the truth. Then go to Tokyo, I must live. Nothing's wrong with trying to live. Makes sense, actually. This is probably ours. The memory of walking in the heavy snow without any hope. Then the miracle happened. The memory of flowers bloom. Or blossom. I want to disappear. I've always wanted to die. I'm so unfortunate, incompetent, uneducated, all because I didn't have love for my mother. I've been passing the buck on to others. Even when I found love, I'd been betrayed several times, my heart's wounded. 
Even if I tried to believe to love, that was just a waste of time. After all, those are people who have nothing to do with me. Great people won't pay attention to me, and the trash won't change for me. Since I knew I understood this, I started to hate being here. I didn't want to be born in such a world. I thought so. Till I knew you, I had you in my tummy. Oh, this is his mom. It's warm and happy. I finally have a meaning to live on. For the first time, there's something sh I want to protect. The fear of the feeling of wanting him to disappear in this world or killing him doesn't matter anymore. As long as you can be safely born, as long as you grow up healthy and happy, I'm willing to do anything. I pray, pray for your safety. Pray that you can be born safely. That's it, you're my last hope. Watching the blood running from my body is just like standing on the bottom of an abyss. Don't take away my hope, I cry and pray. Even after pay my own life, I want to protect you. I cry every day and pray every day. I pray and pray and pray. Even so, the prayers fail to reach God. But are you sure about that? Hodoro was born. That's one of the reasons I am vehemently against abortion. We have no right to take another life. After all, sometimes that's the only reason people have to live. It's a sad reality we live in. That's why we should look for the Lord. Do you want to peek inside? I sure do. Why? Aren't you going to kill me with that knife? What are you afraid of? With that determination, you can't protect your beloved child. Come, kill me. Let me see the world created by you. Oh, cyborg mother. The girl with beautiful green hair, whose name is Maggie. She has two different memories. One was to be born in a warm family to be raised as a human being. The other was created by an inventor to be born as a bionic human. There are not many people to be born with previous memories. Among them, she's the memory of being a machine. She's a cheerful and lively girl, often smiles, raised in a warm family. However, deep beneath her heart, there exists a darkness that the others cannot find out. She used to have the function of killing people. As she released the parts on her hand, there's a gun. The machine does not have a heart nor tears. She was a ruthless puppet. She's always been feeling the presence of a rational, heartless, or inorganic self. Remember, it was in the living room. It was a memory at home. That day, the television was full of news that Hokkaido would become inhabitable because of a natural disaster. The news was everywhere. Mother panicked and packed the luggage, finally deciding to go to the shelter owned by an uncle. Mother told me that my favorite teddy bear and clothes can all be packed. Mother held my hand and we walked to the shelter. The people of the town cried that this land is ruined and tried to find a shelter to stay. Everyone was in chaos. The shelter was surprisingly spacious with excellent equipment. Uncle takes no one other than women and children. I thought I could live here peacefully. Suddenly there was a gunshot and someone's whining the atmosphere changed. All the adults were killed. Of course, my mother, however, I didn't feel sad. There are only a few other girls and I left and some newborn babies. Uncle said that those who want to live here must obey him. There were only unarmed children, just us, so we had to listen. You're gonna live only to please me, how about that? A redhead kid with fierce eyes was targeted. Are you really a woman? Whatever, you're such an arrogant. I paid a lot to build this shelter and keep you here, to make you live and give you food. What a wonderful life. Thank me. Annoying fat pig, why who would listen to you? You little brat, he looks like a man. Stand in line if you don't want to die. On the way to the shelter, I'd seen the baby's mother with a gentle smile, her flesh flushed across my mind. Oh, Maggie took over this place because all the adults had died. Hmm. Just like that, my body moved. Suddenly, I'm filled with courage. I jumped at the uncle. The red-haired girl and the other girls also followed. To be, or be, to be or not to be beaten, to be kicked, to be hurt. 
and the side I got the gun and pointed at the uncle. He begged me, I didn't listen, and he I kept pulling the trigger until there was no more bullets. Until he was dead. All the air the kids just watched. There's nothing to be afraid of. There were only us left. I pulled my legs and walked to the baby. I picked the baby up and smiled at him. Good morning, I'm your mother. Hmm. The feelings out of hypocrisy had been reborn. She's not a puppet anymore. She finally had a heart that could love someone else. Don't worry, I'll always be on your side. No matter what happens, I'm going to protect you. Because I'm your mother. Huh. Thank you, Cyborg Mom. Blue star flower is beautiful, just like the blue stars. The flower says, love of happiness, love of trust. Isn't it beautiful? I love this kind of flower the most. Whatero, do you feel relaxed now? You can stay here if you want forever. All right. Are you leaving? Only one choice. The future will be easily changed. For the happy ending. Do you have the courage to face evil? I sure do. No matter what choices are made, it only leads to a nightmare. You've known enough about that, right? Even the future is dark. Are you going for it? There's something I want to find out. The world you are going to face is never a simple one. No matter how many times you stand up, you must try to force you into a difficult position. Even like this, are you still leaving? Someone's waiting for me. I see, but you need to be careful. Go, Hodora. I'm always on your side. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Here are you. We're waiting for you, Hodoro. Take a seat. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I sure did. Good morning, everyone. That's for Hodoro. You can just have mine if you're still hungry. Really? Ah, you're all very pumped up. Don't be too careful. Or but Suna's gonna be hungry with only this much, it's not enough. Hey, are you still spoiling this little devil? Food's precious. Of course. Whatever. Mother's my favorite person. Mother is alive. I must protect Mother carefully. This is Angelica. She's my mother's female best friend. She's like an old grandma figure. I know what that a devil is possessing inside of our eyes. Yeah, Demonica. The annoying one is Suna. Mother said I am much more mature spiritually and I'm better. I need to remind Suna not to get into any danger. The one who looks distant is McCurry. Her appearance is very intimidating. It's like being stared at a snake. I need to get her to talk with mom and reconcile things. In the white space, five of us swim together. We finished breakfast as usual. A regular morning, a regular dawn. Blink of an eye, another day passed by. No one has to die. I will protect everyone. And do do
the photo of my real mother and me. My mother had a smile on her face. Aw. Anyhow, I say we'll leave off here, and we'll finish things up next episode. Hmm. Hopefully we can actually get a good ending, and more than just one person can escape here alive. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you didn't, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.